Hey guys, so I just checked out the top 1000 baby names for 2015. It was released this Friday and there haven't been much change in the top 10. So the only new entries we have are um, Harper for girls at number 10 and we have Benjamin at number 10 for boys. They replace Madison and Daniel. Now I'm going to run down the top 10 names for each gender. So for boys we have Noah at number 1. Then we have Liam, Mason, Jacob, William, Ethan, James, Alexander, Michael and Benjamin. For girls we have Emma at number 1. Olivia, Sophia, Ava, Isabella, Mia, Abigail, Emily, Charlotte and Harper. So yeah, this is not that interesting uh, because the top 10 rarely changes. It's like one new entry f for each year. Some years you don't even have a new entry, so it's really boring. Now for the top 100, we have five new entries for the boys. This is actually quite exciting because the boys uh, rank doesn't change that much because we have like 40 or 50 names that are, you know, considered considered classics, but for me they're just overused and need to go away. And so these 40 or 50 names never leave or rarely leave the top one hand the top 100. And so we're stuck with them, and there's not a lot of room for new entries, uh, which is a shame. But this year, thankfully, we have five new entries. We have Matteo at number 85. Uh, then we have um, Ezra at number 92. Sawyer at number 94. Theodore at number 99. And Elias at number 100. So all of these names uh, are pretty current sounding. The only exception for me is Theodore, which is a bit of an old school name, but it's back into fashion. And Theo, the nickname, is also rising as its own name. So that one's one to watch. For girls, we have several new entries, the highest being Hazel. And that one was super surprising. Not that it entered the top 100, I knew it was going to enter the top 100, but it entered at number 63. That's a huge jump. So watch out for that one. Then we have Aurora at number 79, another high new entry. Then we have Cora at number 88. Then we have uh, Quinn at number 97. We have Clara or Clara at number 98 and Reagan at number 99. So we have a bit for everyone here. We have the old lady sheet names like Clara and Cora coming back and Hazel. We have the trendy boyish names like Reagan and Quinn. And we also have some really cool, you know, modern names that were never really used that much, like Aurora, for example, um, making it a very big impression in the top 100. So these are the new entries. Now the last thing I wanted to talk about is the names that uh, climbed the most in 2015. For boys, uh, these names were Rianne, which uh, jumped to number 926. Huge jump of over 1,000 spots. The second highest was Huxley, which jumped almost 400 spots to 962. That's a great name. I love Huxley. And the third biggest climber was Wilder, which jumped 360 spots to number 964. For girls, the name that increased the most was Alaya, or Alaya, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, which is now sitting at number 664. It had a jump of over 2,000 spots. That's remarkable. At number two, we have Meilani. I think uh, 
J Wow from the Jersey Shore. Uh, she named her daughter this, so it's not surprising to see it climb that much. Again, another huge jump of over 1,800 spots to number 950. And in third place, we have Aitana, which jumped 1,721 spots to 917. So yeah, these are the names that jumped the most places. And uh, not many surprises here. I'm not sure where Rianne comes from. Um, Huxley, I'm just really pleased. And Wilder is another nice name. And now, the ones that decreased the most for boys was Arnav, which decreased over 660 spots. Um, and it's way out of the top 1,000 now. It's number 1,554. So that's a huge decrease. And number two, we have Jace with this spelling, which dropped 257 spots. I think Jay's declining has to do with the show Duck Dynasty uh, starting to lose steam. And so the guy's name is named Jace with another spelling. And all forms of Jace have fallen in 2015. And the number three that fell the most was Neymar, which dropped 240 spots to number 790. This is a soccer player. He, met, he put the name on the map, but I guess he's no longer that relevant these days. I don't know. For girls, not surprisingly, the name that dropped the most over 1,000 spots, it was Isis. It's now sitting at number 1,770. This makes me sad because Isis is a really pretty name, and it's a shame they don't call it the, the terrorist organization of it could be named Daesh, but they keep uh, the media keeps calling it ISIS, which just ruins the name for everyone. And at number two and at number three have two spelling variations of Annabelle, both dropping 500 spots out of the top 100. And this has to do, in my opinion, with the movie Annabelle that came out in 2014 at the end of the, the year, the horror movie has a doll named Annabelle and I didn't expect it to have that much of an impact or such a negative impact. All spelling variations of Annabelle, even Annabella, Fell and Arabella, they all plummeted this year and I hope the effect uh, wears off uh, next year because I love, I really like Annabelle and I especially love Annabelle with an M so I'm hoping the name can turn around. So that's it. This is the latest information we have. And I'll see you soon. Bye.